Georgia from Creative Moments by G. Today we're going to work on a candy nugget tray that is perfect for table favors, gifts, stocking stuffers, and even craft fairs. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? And it's so easy to make. So let's head over to the design table and let's get started. We're going to make our candy trays now and this says season's greetings i am so excited to make this and one of the things that i used is i used the old timey paper it's the night before christmas and it's six by six so you don't waste a lot of paper i just thought these soft muted colors are so beautiful wrapping the candy in them, and it reminded me of an old-timey Christmas, a time to make memories that will be treasured forever. And of course, it is double-sided, so you get these beautiful colors and then a coordinating color on the side. So I think you're really going to like working with this paper. The other thing you're going to need is the Peaceful Bows stamp and also the die cutting so that you don't have to try to fussy cut that. And where do you find this? Well, if you go into our holiday catalog, you will find it on page, what is that under there, 15. And you'll see that you have the, the peaceful bows and also the bows die cut. And there's so many things you can do with this, but I just wanted to focus on the candy today. Now, to save some time, I have cut out our little pine cones and our squares and our beautiful leaves. But let's go ahead and cut out our base unit. What you're going to need is you're going to need to cut it out. And it's going to be 5 inches by 2 inches for your tray. By the way, can you see this? This is our new Stampin' Up! Uh, cutter. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness. And you know what I love so much about Stampin' Up! is they have this little docking station right here so it gets out of the way when you need to score or you need to cut. I just love it. So we're going to put it at five and we're going to cut and then we need it to be five inches by two inches. So we're going to, oops, we're going to dock that up there. We're going to cut it two inches. And then we're going to score a quarter of an inch. And we're going to dock our cutter first. And we're going to score. Perfect. See how it's scored. And then we're going to score another side a quarter of an inch. Right there. Make sure it's lined up. Hold it down and score it. And there we go, we have it scored. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to get, we can just use our fingers or you can use your bone folder and you just score up because look what we do now. See, our little nuggets are gonna just fit perfectly in here. Isn't that cute? Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to cut our paper. And I think I want to use, let's see, let's look at our old tiny paper. I think I'm going to use these coordinating colors. Isn't that beautiful? And for that, this paper that covers your nuggets is a one by three. So we need to get our cutter again. We are going to dock. And we need one by three. So we're going to put this on three. Go down. And now we're going to cut one inch. So we'll get it right on the one inch. And we cut. See, we can just line it up and you can see how cute it's going to be. Okay, and so we pre-cut these to save us some time, but you'll need to use whatever shapes that you want to use. But I think the squares are so pretty, they just nest in just so perfectly. This one is two and a half by two, and this one is 
two by one and three fourths and see how it puts the cute little stitched edge oh isn't that pretty what we need to do next is go ahead and stamp it so we're going to take out the season's greetings we're going to use our memento black we're going to get a stamping pad get our block and I always like to stamp it off just to make sure oh isn't that pretty we're just going to stick it in the middle hold it down for a little bit there you have it that memento ink really works well Okay, so we have those. We're going to set that to the side. Now, we already pre-cut two of our bows, and I can see I need to use my pokey tool to get those little, little areas out that didn't come out. Okay. Okay. And then we also cut our little pine cones in two different colors so you could see them. Oh, isn't that cute? So cute. Now what we use to make our leaves stand out, we use some gilding wax. And I will put where you can buy this on my video. But you just take the smallest amount and you just kind of rub over it just a little bit just to make it shine. It has that copper color to it. Oh, I just think it adds to it. Don't you? Look at that. Look at that shine. So pretty. And it's, it's just puts that color on so easily instead of, you know, maybe using an ink pad gives you that shine. And next, we're going to start putting it together. So, let's go ahead and use our glue. Right where you want it and press down. Moved a little bit. Okay, good. Next, we want to wrap our little candies. Now, of course, you know, you can start out with six and maybe end up with five because they're yummy and you might want to eat one, right? I love my chocolate. First one done. Let's bring in our tray. Next, you'll need to get your two inch by eight inch cellophane, cellophane bag and put it in there. Okay, next we're going to just tie a little ribbon around the top. This is the way I do it. And then tie another, tie a hard knot so that it doesn't come undone. <laughs> okay. Then you have these loops that need to be cut, right? So cut them. And then we come in with another pair of scissors and we go ahead and curl them. I love curlies. I just think curlies make anything so much more fun. Now a little trick is, you see how it already wants to curl that way? You can curl it the opposite direction, but it curls so much nicer if you just stick with the way it naturally wants to curl. So make sure you get it on the underside of it, how it already wants to curl, and look at that. And you can always go back in if one just is being a little difficult. Look at that, so cute, so cute. 
Now what we're going to do is we're just going to get some snail. We're going to put this right here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put it right, just right in the middle. Right in the middle. There we go. Okay, we're starting to get everything created. Now we will just put a little bit of snail right there and put our pine cone on top. Get it all lined up. Okay. And since there's not going to be anything on top, it won't matter that that glue is right there. It'll dry. So, next we need to, now this is where we're going to use this, and we're going to just put it behind. Okay, just kind of hold that down just for a second. Okay, and that will dry white, so you don't have to worry about it. And then we're going to, I lifted that up just a little bit on this other one. Go ahead and use this. Put it up just a little bit. Okay. Hold it down. Oh, it's looking cute. Next, we need to put on our pine cones. And I think we're gonna set those up on dimensionals. So we're gonna get us a dimensional. Put it on the back. Another one. Well, I don't need that many. Use our pokey tool. Very quickly take that off. Now this one's going to be set up like that, and this one I think is going to go, we're going to have it go down a little bit, just like that. Then we're going to pull some of our little curls over the front, and there you have it. Isn't that beautiful? Now, let me show you some of the other designs we made, too. I think you're going to like those. Now, this is the one I made earlier. This is the one I made today. Very nice. I use different paper. Once again, that paper is in our catalog. Here is a beautiful Thanksgiving one that you could put on your table. And what about this one? A Christmas one. How wonderful would this make as a late night sweet addition to your Santa's cookie and milk? Oh my goodness. Make this with your children and then say, we're going to leave this for Santa. Wouldn't that be nice? They would love that. But also you could use these as craft fair items, table favors. Oh, I just think you're going to have so much fun making these. Well, thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Go out and have a fantastic day.